have an upcoming book. It's at the publisher at this point? It will be point? published in November of uh, 2018. That's about, what is it, you know, four months from now. And uh, it's entitled God in the Quran. Yes. So could you, would you tell us what your um, project was for this new book? And, um, you know, sure. how it relates to everything you've, you've been working on? After I published the first two books, uh, people said to me, "Oh well, now you, uh, you now you must uh, uh, do a book on uh, on Islam and on God in the Quran." And uh, I was very uh, shy about uh, taking on that task because I don't know Arabic. I, I do know Semitic, other Semitic languages, and I know have a, what I call a smattering of Arabic, uh, but that only. Uh, and uh, the literature. Uh, explanation about the Quran is vast mm. uh, and I um, didn't think I had time to master it to the extent that I had uh, mastered the relevant literatures for uh, the Jewish scriptures and the Christian but I found uh, a modest way to do something modest but I thought useful so most Jews and Christians uh, don't know that uh, the iconic figures of their scriptures also appear in the Quran so uh, I took a set of these, Adam uh, and Eve, who's just called Adam's wife, Cain and Abel, who just appear as Adam's sons, uh, then Abraham and his father, Abraham and his son, uh, Moses, um, uh, and then before Moses, actually, Joseph, uh, and, uh, and then Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, and his mother, Jesus and his mother, because yeah. she's very important uh, in the Quran's discussions of Jesus. And uh, in each case, I, I gathered together what the Quran uh, says about each and uh, discussed it and uh, began pointing out uh, the details in which it differs from what we find uh, in uh, the Jewish and Christian scriptures. And these are sometimes quite fascinating, you know, quite interesting. Uh, not that they're polemical or necessarily controversial, but they are, are uh, they are different. And uh, uh, what might surprise uh, some Jewish and Christian readers is that I have no hesitation in saying that Allah is more merciful than Yahweh. Mm all the surahs at but one begin with well they be, Allah. they begin that's true with an announcement of uh, of Allah's mercy but also, also Allah conducts himself and I uh, I know that he he should be called God for convenience in the uh, exposition I talked about Yahweh and Allah mm -hmm. uh, and then in the final chapter I dropped that and just talked about God about God for because I believe it is there's no doubt that the same being is being referred to. Mm -hmm. um, but take, for example, uh, Moses sent by God to Pharaoh to liberate the Jews, mm -hmm. liberate the Israelites. In the Quran, the real reason that uh, God sends Moses uh, to Pharaoh and to Egypt is to convert Pharaoh from his polytheism and make him a good monotheist. <laughs> Teach him that there is no God but God uh, and uh, his people uh, with him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's true that uh, the Israelites are to be let go because God wishes this, but their liberation is, is an entirely secondary theme mm -hmm. to the theme of the conversion of the Egyptians. Yeah. And as, as you may recall in the biblical narrative, uh, again and again, Pharaoh relents. He's, he's going to let the Israelites go, but God steps in and hardens his heart yes. and prevents him uh, from submitting himself uh, to the will of God. Not so in the, in the Quran, mm -hmm. uh, but only at the last minute. So <laughs> it's true that Pharaoh uh, is recalcitrant and uh, keeps keeps uh, declining to accept the Muslim truth. Uh, and he leads his own tr uh, troops into the Red Sea. They're all drowning, and he's drowning too, but at the last minute he says, 
Moses was right. <laughs> I am a Muslim. There is no God but God. You know, so it's a, it's you might say a deathbed conversion in the yeah. middle of the Red Sea. So it's a happy ending. Though. There you go. You see, it's I a happy see. ending for Pharaoh, and if if uh, so, it may also be a happy ending for Egypt, which after all today is a Muslim country. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely.